<laughs> what is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How is everybody doing out there in fish tank land? Hope you guys are all enjoying your Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon. Hope you guys are all doing well. Got everybody up in here in the chat early. Got William Jansen first up in the chat, 83 minutes early. We got Mike from Fish Tank Barn, Aqua Balls, Griffin's Fish Room. What's up, Papa Harden? What's up, Dad? It's good to see you here as well. Fancy Tail Aquatics, Tokes Outdoors, Chevy Fish, Mike, how are you? Deanna Somerville made it. I was hanging out with her yesterday. I got to see all the guppies at her house. I'm going to share with that with you guys tomorrow. Uh, let's see. So I'm really, really excited. Obviously, I'm not here alone right now. I am I'm, uh, over here in the islands, but uh, I have Amber with me. Just trying to see. Make sure everything is running smooth. Caleb Aquatics. Caleb, what's up, man? Good to see you here. So I have the big responsibility of watching the chat, watching all live chat. Mike, thank you for the $5 super chat, the big fish deal fun. That's right around the corner, really. Ginger Graves, how are you? Good to see you here. Lurking while doing water changes, waiting for Amber and the fish house update. All right, so I really don't want to waste any time. You guys don't want to see me. You guys want to see Amber, right? Uh, so I got all live chat going. I've got my coffee, and I'm going to focus on chat, try to look for uh, my name highlighted in question marks for questions for Amber. Oh, did I just do that? I just got coffee on my mouse. <sighs> Fun stuff. I'm good at this stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's find Miss Amber. Where is Miss Amber at? Amber, how are you? Coming to us live from Burlington, Vermont. <laughs> yes, with apparently terrible service, so bear with me, guys. <laughs> Wi-Fi is going to be here Tuesday, I think. Yeah, I think Tuesday or Wednesday. You know how that service works. Service looks good. It looks good. We did pretty good last time, too. I think we're going to make it. So everything looks good. Look at that behind you. It's just totally different than the last time uh, we did a little bit of a tour okay. of the house. It's getting there. I'm not. I'm not, like happy with it and I want it to be done and all pretty but I mean honestly with as much crap as I've had to do and like the car accident limiting what I can actually lift and like paint it's been it's yeah been I, don't, I think I don't know every not everybody knows that that happened though I guess you that you were yeah. a little bit of a uh yeah, with my, some ice long story short my car is kind of screwed um it's been in the shop for about 30 days and I'm still going to be waiting another two weeks at least, but, um, wear your seatbelts. Cause I mean, I got a little bit of whiplash, but like that's, that's nothing compared to what it could have been. So no, it's not like a big deal. It just, it made it hard to pick things up with my neck kind of like tweaked. You're such a trooper. Seriously. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it really wasn't that bad. I'm well. more nervous about people. I just want to say like, because, you know, this is one thing that I really did kind of avoid in the past with my YouTube channel is showing a lot of my apartment and where I live because, like, I'm kind of eccentric and I had a little bit um, of a more interesting aspect as far as home decor. So, like, there's a lot of Christmas lights and a lot of, like, like there's probably a lot of pothos christmas know. lights pothos and and, no. pr and primitive masks everywhere no no and succulents no the succulents no most of my succulents died the only, no. the, one, the only ones i have left because i moved them in the cold the only ones i have left are my aloe that's it and the ones in the bathroom and the bedroom and the lab everything else died these are new. okay those are because I was really sad that they always died because of the cold. And that's also why I don't have any of my trees here other than my palm tree because I have like three ficus trees and like five palm trees still at mom's. But I, I'm really scared to kill them because I love mm -hmm. my plant. I actually cried. So what I do you got? What's behind you uh, in the corner? Oh, yeah. Do you want me to like start yeah well i don't like this room because of the echo so the sooner you get out of this room the happier i am <laughs> okay that's fair and it's, i didn't tell you this echo. but and you can't be mad you guys aren't going to get to see the basement today what? um 
because I know I'm doing a video. What? You didn't tell me this. You didn't you, tell I me told, this. I told you I wanted to wait until next weekend. No, you didn't no, you listen. didn't tell me that we're not going to look at the basement. I thought there was like a full fish house tour. Hey, hey, you're the one who keeps telling me to film and upload videos. Uh, why would I spoil the video that I'm going to put up whenever I have enough Wi-Fi to render? Because I'm not sitting at McDonald's for that long. Like, I sat there for an hour and 20 minutes and dealt with some really old guy being really creepy to try to get it rendered, like, up to the tubes of you, and it, did, it didn't work, so. Okay. Okay, so we don't get to see the basement. They don't. If you What's want to stay on after, prize? you can. You can. If you want to stay on after, because it's your basement, too, but they have to wait. Okay, so what's what's behind you in the corner there? Glowing, okay, glowing switch. behind you. Which, there's a couple things. Hang on, let me, like, do... There you go. So, part of what I've been, like, busy with lately, and some people know this, but, I mean, if you don't have Instagram... So, I did Oh, I love you. <laughs> Can I just say that? I love you, Amber. <laughs> so I did a thing. Um, you did a thing. Pet. Yeah. This thing I, happened. Uh, I'm barefoot. Let me walk out a little bit. So <laughs> there's a few tanks here. Uh, my manager at the local pet co is completely awesome. And after four phone calls, put in a special order of about 75 tanks for me. Because I have a number of blowouts that I want to upgrade to 20 highs. You like 20 longs. I want to do some things with 20 longs. Wow. <laughs> oh, and that Marine Land tank buried in the mess is going yeah. in our bedroom. It's just I can't. buried at the moment. Yeah. Is that 20? So, uh, no, it's a 39. Oh. All right, so haven't gotten everything on the walls. These need to be washed because they're old and they were in storage. But, yeah. Just, it's... just Amber, just slow down a little bit with the camera. It's not you, so it's not really your fault. It's just the, it's just the, it's choppy. You're good. No, I can, I'm just saying just, yeah, I'm sorry. It was, it's just. Can, can y'all tell happy. where I fell off the ladder? What? The other night and decided to. No, I'm stop. fine. I'm totally fine. But can y'all see where I decided to stop hanging lights the other yeah. night? <laughs> yeah. That My was like, uh, I'm later. done. Mm -hmm. we'll work and on I just want to say, these are completely temporary. I do not think a bearded dragon should be kept in a 40 breeder, which is why his paper towels are completely effed up because he's been burned a fit all day. He hates his temporary cage. They actually have six foot long by two feet tall by three feet deep enclosures. There are three. Um, I have one for my bearded dragon, my blue tongue skink, and my boa constrictor. They're just not here because I haven't been able to move them, but yeah. Um, all the substrates, because I'm setting that up to move over the boa, doesn't really matter. That's where I thought your 75 that's in the garage could go, because Elliot. Okay. Yeah. And it might be kind of cool. I don't know. I just tried to make the space, like, here's where I could put my reptiles, but also, like, I can have a place for my cookbooks into, like, where we can eat and live our lives as people who aren't just fish keepers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. By the way, do you see how happy my plant is? This is all since I moved in. Look at it. Look at it. Nice. Look at it. She's so happy. Also, the tank I was telling you about that I'll show y'all right now is going to, I think, go here. I thought you could aquascape that because. Um, I don't know. This tank that I need to break down, it's a fluval, I don't know what, something, flex maybe? I don't know. Yeah. It's like three gallons. Fluval flex. 
Yeah, figured you could do something with it. Corn snake. Plants. Ooh, ooh, look, this. Look at this. I thought this was a fantastic idea. Nice. Looks right? good. Look at the size of the leaves. Are you watching chat? Cause I am watching chat. I'm watching. I'm watching you too because I haven't seen this yet. So it's. Fair. I'm seeing it for the. Um, I'm seeing some of this for the first time. I mean, at least what you've done with the place. It's really nice to see the art on the walls and stuff. This was done by my tattoo artist. Actually, these are random sketches that he did when he was first doing art, like in high school. We were friends years and years ago. Um, <laughs> Ginger Graves saw the gnome in the corner. <laughs> oh, they're Chauncey. He's actually my biggest gnome. What's his he, name? They're Chauncey, and he was named that when he came to me. Um, I bought him off eBay. I was living in New York at the time, and the little old lady who sold him to me was like, oh, he's very excited for his adventure in New York, and like, his name's Sir Chauncey, and it was very cute, and she anthropomorphized him pretty thoroughly. And he was actually covered in really crappy paint and glitter. I don't know if y'all can see the glitter still on the bottom of like his pant legs and his face is all chipped. But I repainted everything but his face because I don't know. I felt like his skin color should stay all like weathered and whatever. And then I have like a plant, Cancervaria, it's mother in law's telling her yeah. snake plant. And then I have the sensitive fish that I was worried about at mom's that I wanted to risk moving. Um, <laughs> and let me explain this complete madness. So <laughs> my dad's going to drop off the tools um, because I've done a lot of carpentry and like construction and woodworking. And I'm actually building a stand for a 90 gallon to go here. And then I'm going to do a shelving unit that cuts up and through here goes across and has a shelf in the middle so I can put all my like little fern um yeah these are my baby ferns and then the pothos and like little Norse god statues and whatever up there and just get everything up and out nice. and then I'm actually building a racking unit for three forties to be stacked here TV table, TV is going to go across the window, unfortunately. And then for the rest of the room, it's going to be um, 20 highs along this entire sidewall, which that is a 20 high and that's how deep it's going to go. And then the back wall is going to be all 10s, floor to ceiling. And then this side is going to be uh, 12, uh, 20 longs. So that's the plan with that. This is another spectacular tree you should remember this one no i remember that one yes i remember carrying it to the room did i look carry it up her. to the hotel room oh yeah that's right look, look at her Maybe well, yeah, they they look happy. these are cool these were actually made from uh oil drums they're some haitian cool. art and then more fish stuff oh and then Ooh, i decided let's, to put let's see that painting that's cool. That's super cool. Thanks. Yeah, it's gonna be all like tanks along all the walls. And then, like I said, the 340s TV, 340s couch with the super awesome blanket, which she will never see this, but thank you, Sue, for making me the greatest blanket that was ever made. Poor woman put so much work into that thing. <laughs> and then the plant that's on my fridge. So this pothos up here, which is named Jeffrey. <coughs> um, this is like a big chunk of it. Uh huh. Cause I thought that that would be cool. Rex are going in next week. So if you want to do another stream next week, the 40 should be in, um, and then the racking for the 20 hides should be moved in. So, yeah, that's the general kind of thing. A lot of plants. Oh, my palm tree is getting uh, watered 
in the shower at the moment are draining and she's getting repotted because she's big. Come on upstairs, more plants, more gnomes. A little cow painting that I got in college. I don't remember buying it, but it was a really good weekend and I'm glad I bought that. All those, um, oh, it's dark. Well, okay, so <laughs> that's my dresser. Um, it's a lot more complicated than I thought, and the night I tried to put it together, I thought wine would have helped, and it didn't, so it hasn't happened yet. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's where my dress is going. That's where the fish tank is going. That's going on the wall. I don't know. Silver pothos or plant stuff. Little polka dot on the cache action. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Bathroom, not exciting. <coughs> Ugh, I have dust allergies and I crawled up <coughs> in the attic earlier. Not fun. Also, before anyone What's asked, in... I'm heating my bedas. Yeah. I'm not heating my bedas. Um, <laughs> I'm heating the house right now. It's at mm -hmm. 80. So this is my office, what I have so far. That is going up there. <sighs> I'm doing a rack here that can hold, I think, nine or 12, 10 gallons for breeding. This is not staying up. I just didn't want it getting ruined because I think it's hideous and spectacular at the same time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to have two side-by-side -side racks that hold five 20 longs each that are going to be divided for my breeder bettas that are unfortunately residing in there for right now. And uh, Ginger Graves work. said, and Ginger Graves said, my room, I'll bring a fan. Yes, yes. It's just... it is the uh, better room. And I don't know if anyone cares, but like organizational wise, kind of got that. <laughs> <laughs> pretty fantastically done um i can tuck away like all of my different lights my backpacks like the bulbs even sit securely in here for my actual lights so that's kind of nice this wall i have a wire rack that actually holds four um five gallons that i use for conditioning so basically it's the all-in-one like domestic Beta set up because you can breed like you breed here. Your breeders live here long term. Your grow out jars are here. Conditioning, medicating, whatever can happen here. My film equipment, more equipment, equipment backpack, breeding projects that you don't get to see because you're moving so fast. Mm. You're moving so fast. <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> <sighs> and I haven't figured out how I'm going to work the quarantine guest room. But I will say the closet. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a trash can and a couple of LED lights. because I'm going to have it so I actually have shelves to grow out the greens for my lizards and uh, the trash can to age water for my tanks over here because I can just age out water and get it to the proper pH and whatnot and then move it over in five gallon buckets. So yeah, I, I told you it's not gonna be that exciting until racks get moved in. Um, your office. I don't know what now what because office or um the downstairs is not happening until at least next week because i want to put out that video first why don't you just sit in your office okay for a minute don't go That'll back work. down there into the echo land <laughs> by the way i have crawled up there now four times and i can't figure out what the noises are um there, what's up there? There's nothing up there cool? Uh, it's not cool. It's kind of creepy. Alright, switch this again. My dad said to tell you 
He thinks you're perfect. Oh, cute. <laughs> Very cute. Alright, watch that, Amber. <laughs> there you go. Look at that awesome what? poster of beta fish behind you. <laughs> Jeez, nothing. <laughs> We're good. I like all the Christmas tree lights. That's fun. By the way, if there are any like nerdy people in the chat, I don't know if you can see. Oh, I can't zoom in. Never mind. They're like, is there if there's any nerdy people in the chat? That's a funny statement. No, no, like video game nerdy. Oh, okay. I missed that part. I, I thought you were looking at the beta fish again. No, no, nobody gets to see what what's in there quite yet. I'm, I'm very excited about that. I have some fun things growing out. So, yeah, no tanks yet. Well, I mean, there are a few, like I have the cribs. Um, I have a few groups of the juvenile pistos. Um, and I have a group of blue chameleon baddis because <laughs> with the weather so cold and having just moved everyone, even if like physically I could have with my neck, I mean, everyone had just gotten so stressed being moved over the moms because this place was kind of a surprise. Um, we had signed into a leak on another location that was still in the process of, um, I don't know, demolition, maybe. Like, they said it was, they were into new construction, but they weren't yet, and it was going to be a couple months. I had to leave the place I was living at because, I mean, well... I flooded my apartment with like 80 gallons of water. Yeah, you didn't tell anybody about that. You haven't told you know anybody what? about that. I told you and... Yeah, I you know, know, but the war, like, no, the rest of the... Nobody knows about that one. You don't know, so you what don't did you do? Admit. What happened? Uh, well, those wire racks with the like plastic feet that slide. Right, because this could be a learning, uh, maybe a learning lesson for some people. Because, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember how hard i was crying when i called you yes. <laughs> about what happened anyway so what happened i'm sorry <laughs> those wire racks with the little plastic feet that slide like mm -hmm. the one holding the jars next to me <laughs> yeah the me. one the one right next to you <laughs> That is graded for the proper weight. I just need to say that is for the, well, actually, no, that's not true. It, it's it's supposed to be able to hold like a thousand pounds per shelf and it's holding like maybe 600. Okay. So I, I, feel good. <laughs> I feel good about that choice. The other one that I had was really cheap and like I knew I was putting too much weight on it, but I did it anyways. And one of the little plastic, like, slidey things, um, yeah. snapped. It snapped. And I didn't realize that the one behind it cracked. And, like, I saw the shelf sagging, and I even thought to myself, you should do it right now. But I finished. <laughs> I finished filling the tank that I was working on instead of jumping right to it. And as I was filling the tank on another shelf and the jars were behind me, I heard like this awful crash. And then the sound of just like so many different sources of water hitting the floor. And I turned around in time to see like three shelves because it, the first one had caused some kind of like stupid domino effect where it had slammed down on top of th three, no, no. That's the other thing. I had it stacked higher jar wise than I should have. I know you should only do it like four high for stability, but I didn't want to move the shelves to the right size. So I had it like six, which is why it was overweighted, but it was also like stacked too many high to be stable. And it was bad because it was three shelves and they were all at an angle and it was just all these waterfalls. And it, it was like pieces of colorful tissue paper as the bed is came zooming out of their totes. So it just the collapsed. It, they got collapsed on themselves. It was like a, to a domino effect kind of thing. And there are bettas everywhere. And thank God they're labyrinth breathers because they didn't lose a single one. Okay, that's not true. I lost one. But 
it's only because the water heat flushed with the water under a baseboard and I couldn't get it out. It was, why are you making me talk about this? It was awful. So was what's the awful. moral what's the moral of the story? Make sure you like if you're gonna buy a pre-made wire rack, make sure that thing is like a couple hundred pounds larger than the tank with water and substrate is supposed to be. And like, don't necessarily trust that. Like, just assume that whatever site is telling you the weight with substrate is only a, a, like a, accounting for an inch of up the substrate and add like 25 to 30 pounds for every additional inch of substrate. It's just way overweight grade your, your rack. And don't precariously mount things just because you're lazy. And also if all your beds end up on the floor and you have to pick them up off carpet covered in lint and hair with bare friggin' hands. A crane salt, one tablespoon to every five gallons of water will, will, will do a whole lot. <sighs> Would it just help them with their slime coat after being messed, like roughed up like that, you mean? Well, it prevents bacteria and fungus from growing on them while their slime coat is compromised. Right, right. How am I cold? It's 80 degrees in here. Okay, so we can't see the basement. No, nope, next weekend. Sorry, guys. You can if you want to, like, stay on after the stream. Which, by the way, have you checked the chat at all? I am checking the chat. Candy Overhauls is is just killing it. We're throwing out all the links and, and, and moderating like the chat. Candy doesn't always kill it. I know, candy. I know. She's she and, and William Jansen is, is, is right there with her holding it down, holding down the fort. Daryl Deemer is here. Pam oh. is he, Pam is here. Uh, Jason is here. Blackie is here as well. Cody's son, forty four mag guy, Ginger Graves has been here the whole time. Salt is your friend, she says. And let's see. Let me go back up, see if I missed something. Can I just say how very sad I am that I can't read the chat? <laughs> I'm a very curious individual. <laughs> I do have all live chat on though, so I should be catching everything. I'm not missing anything. I'm, I'm learning. Uh, let's see here. We got 57 hanging out in the chat right now. Well, I want to say that I am very proud of you for all the hard work that you are doing over there you're really you're really you're you're really kicking butt over there and i appreciate it i mean it, it would look a lot better if i hadn't you know fallen off of that ladder the other night and lost my because like awesome <laughs> i do want to say and this is an interesting personal thing that doesn't usually come up so i might as well just like tell you now and tell other people because maybe someone can relate I'm not afraid of heights unless it's a height I can fall off of. <laughs> so like Ferris wheels, glass elevators, things like that, I'm totally good with. But you get me three feet off the ground on a step ladder and I don't like have a harness or something, like rock climbing, I'm good with because I'm harnessed. I know I'm safe. But like ladders, no. So my knees quake and I don't do well. So like it'll look a lot better the next time. Yeah, I'll see it because I'll have actually gotten back up in the ladder and finished hanging everything. <laughs> um, let's see. So, what's in those tanks though? The 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 uh, that you had against the wall, back behind the chairs in the in the other room. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, my species. Like I have a blue. Do you want to go down there and show us? No, because there oh. are no lights on them, and there's no light in that corner, which is part of why it's just gonna be. It okay. Would just literally look it, it, and half of them are black water, so like I could, but okay, then I, just tell us about them. Then <laughs> those are the ones I was willing to risk fungus and potentially ichor velvet from the cold and depleted slime coat, um, compromised immune system to get here because they need to be babysat. So, like, Corbenthus are a bonded pair breeder, but they do divorce, so to speak. So, like, they'll have a spawn, and if something goes wrong, like angelfish do, um. Well, actually start fighting to the point of where the male could kill the female. My pair, you remember from Dallas, the male's like three yeah. times the female. He's huge. Uh, they have babies, so I want to watch them. 
uh, blue chameleon baddest. I currently have a group of 13 that I'm trying to get to pair off. I want to watch them. Uh, I have multiple groups of juvenile pistogrammas that are pairing off. I need to watch them because, you know, they might kill each other. My Scarlet What kind Bad. of pistos? Uh, oh, God. I have Triple Reds, uh, Cockatoides, uh, Panduros. Can't remember the proper name. But as soon as I get there, I'm going to breed them all. The Epistos breed themselves. I know. That's you. <laughs> it's like like guppies almost. I mean, not quite like guppies. I Speaking of guppies, I have some fun projects that I'm working on with guppies. I've fallen into the, the like playing around with mixing guppies and Endler thing pretty hard after uh, going to Haley's house and seeing what she was doing with guppies. Yep. You haven't seen, well, I have got stuff going on here too, but most of my stuff, I just do this thing where I take fish and I put them out on people's property in their water and I just leave them and I come back two years later and see what's in the water. And it's like a fun surprise to see what's in the water. Can I just say how much I absolutely, I'm, I'm admiring the male in the camera because I love how absolutely just like dignified he looks, right? Look at that facial expression on that. On the, oh, you guys kind of snagged that at the end of the. That was you and uh, Taylor and Kasha. We didn't snag it. No, 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 no. You, you, you it was given to you, fair and square. I made friends. I made friends in a very unusual way. Usually, I don't make friends by yelling at someone important, but I was right, and they knew that. So. Yeah, well, you were yelling at people that year. That's right. I mean, can you think of an expo where I haven't lightly chastised at least one person on their their better <laughs> keeping or how they manage their kitchen? Which I don't know if Scott's in the chat, but I haven't seen him up in here yet. He would agree with with my choice on on, on that. Um, Ginger Graves wants to know if you are selling a pistos eventually. Yes. When I have them, they're always available. I do groups though. I don't like to do pairs because I find it takes a lot of work to get them to pair off. I do that with setting up a 20 long, um, and it's actually in a really specific way. So I'll do a 20 long across the board for the pistos actually have a tank specifically set up for this purpose, but I'll do like five or six large rocks and then I'll do leaf litter on top of the rocks. Mm -hmm. And I actually tried to do them in somewhat of a semicircle around 20 long right. with plants behind. And then you do an individual cave in the front center. And what that does is it allows a, a male to pick a female, set up a breeding ter territory in the largest amount of space while also providing everyone else many crevices to hide so they don't get killed in the meantime before I notice and pick them out because like, it can be a little while of a male sitting, of, of a juvenile male of histo sitting on a territory or a spawn site before he picks a female and it can mean a lot of hell for the subdominant males and females. Yeah. And you sometimes can't tell with a subdominant male to a female depending on the species of the pisto until they've given off. And yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. And if you don't keep an eye on that, you can end up with the real, you can end up with the bloodbath real quick. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Too far. That's for sure. Let's see. A yeah. uh, question from Fancy Tail Aquatics is asking me uh, what I'm going to do with my tanks. I am. Uh, pretty much giving them away for the most part they're going to be gifted out to people i know that really want tanks or would enjoy them um i have a few friends that have kids that would appreciate them and get uh, you know benefit from having them in the house so that's what's going to happen probably with most of the tanks um deanna somerville has first dibs on tanks <laughs> if she's still up in the chat listening I'm glad you were able to get together with her finally. Yeah, I hung out last yesterday afternoon. I wish we had a little bit more daylight to film oh. around the property, but she's got guppies that I gave her like four years ago, five years ago, and she's been keeping them around the property. And I, 
trying to get some filming of that done and I keep forgetting I keep forgetting that I literally have to film all night I mean edit all night and like I have to finish I have a video coming out tomorrow that I haven't edited yet yippee kind of keep forgetting about that today I had a guy here working on my refrigerator right up until like 10 minutes before 10 minutes before I went live I had a refrigeration repair guy here and in the end, I told everybody, my landlord and him, what I thought it was. I should have just fixed it myself. I could have just fixed it myself. He gave me new Freon. I mean, whatever. He put new refrigerant in there, and he changed a little sensor, too, which is great and dandy. But in the end, the condensation line was just clogged. And I took some hot water from the kitchen sink and poured it down through the condensation line and defrosted all the water, and the water ran freely right down to the drain pan at the bottom of the refrigerator that's all it was yeah. but I got a maintenance guy in the house which is nice and it's not my landlord so he didn't you know he didn't, <laughs> I don't want my <laughs> landlord to see all the fish tanks <laughs> I, mean. I don't want him to see all the fish tanks I'd rather have a maintenance guy that doesn't care and is not gonna go say anything yeah I need to remember to get curtains because racks are moving in this week and not all the windows have curtains. Here we go. Oh, I remember. I, uh, normally I turn off my air conditioner and I close the blind so it looks cool behind me and I didn't do any of that. I don't think anybody noticed. I think everybody's busy uh, uh, I mean, watching you. <laughs> I'm not just full screen, am I? No, well, I just, I just put you full screen just now. Now I'm back to both of us. It's okay. It's okay. I did not have you full screen, but while you're looking at stuff wait, around the wait house. Wait a minute. I can't even see myself. I can't see the chat. So, <laughs> I have no idea how any of this looks. <laughs> you get to watch it all later. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Mike M. was asking me about the GoPro. It's still in pieces. <laughs> no GoPro. No GoPro happening here. No not GoPro. Any. Like, no. Oh, never mind. That's not a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sitting here since Ginger already saw Sir Chauncey, my biggest gnome, and I have an affinity for gnomes. This is my smallest. What is that? Is that Santa Claus? It's a gnome doing a baby like I'm one of your French girls. Wait, go again. What? You see his little pose? He's like, he's a sassy little thing. He's oh, my he's tiny gnome. Wow. He is. Where, yeah. is he, where is he going? Where does he go? He goes to my desk. He's my tiniest gnome. Your tiniest, your tiniest and all. Ginger's probably my biggest. I figured I would show him because he's sitting right here. Yeah, there's... There, I like gnomes. I don't know. My grandpa had a thing for lawn gnomes when I was growing up. About keeping them in, like, little nooks of the house along with house plants and stuff, so... Mm, Tom Patterson said he looks forward to seeing you speak at the March CCAC Circle City Aquarium Club. Oh, yay! Meeting in Indy. There you go. That's going to be fun. That's yeah. going to be fun. I'd like and to be Ginger... there. <laughs> You're uh, going to be at Maryland, at least. At, at the... I'm going to sell everything I own. And I'm just going to... I'm sorry. I swear I'm leaving it. I'm just going to leave it all. I'm leaving it. I'm, I'm, shipping, the pl I'm shipping the fish out. I'm going to put the plants in my bag. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the, put the tetras in my carry-on and I'm... I'm buying a plane ticket. I'm out of here. Um, I'll just, I'm going to put everything somewhere. I'll store it somewhere at somebody's house. Ooh, I didn't think about that idea. We'll just store it until later. <laughs> I'll just Joseph. store stuff somewhere in storage, and then I'll just deal with it later. That I like this idea. I, this is the best idea I've had so far. This is the fastest, most expedited option is just you're I mean, you're giggling because you know i'm right i'm giggling because i don't know what else to do i i know that you're like probably 60 percent serious more than that more than that anyways well, no, like a I'm lot glad, more than I'm that. Glad you, um, I'm a glad that. February, January, February, March. Say, so yeah, I just, I mean, I just fly there in March. It's just a one-way ticket in March.
I'm doing this on camera in front of everyone. <laughs> Sorry. I know <laughs> you are. We'll talk about this later. <sighs> you can figure out what to do with your stuff. You have an office and you have a dresser. I don't. <laughs> no, I'm just going to put it on a pallet, <laughs> wrap it, and. The dresser situation, I just want to say anybody who orders any of these standards brand dressers they're like a nice brand but they're also over 90 pounds a piece um which is why you have a dresser set up and i don't it wasn't just that i i struggled to put mine together it was also that it it was a few days in between getting yours up the stairs and getting mine because they're heavy so team life on them it's not like ikea you actually do need two people okay Well, so you have snow outside, so all the beds, all the raised beds are covered in snow out there. I thought you were starting to try to work on that. You can't. Is that not... coming through on the camera? What's happening? You can't hear that? Nope, I can hear you, though. Okay. Um, raised beds. Yeah, no. What about them? I ordered seeds. I heard of vegetable seeds, um, depending on when you end up showing up, I'm either going to set up a rack with lights and uh, germinate everything in your office or I guess a guest room because that's empty right now. Very, it's, very cool. You don't, it's Vermont. You don't just put things directly in the ground. You start them in like February. So, and then so in the how much are we charging for the um, the bed and breakfast, the fish house bed and breakfast, it's quarantine house, quarantine yeah. room, the um, it's like a all inclusive fish facility and a fully immersive experience. Water changes all day long. Yeah, no, you know. So it'd be really, you know, never mind. Uh, you're not trying, you're, you're, never mind. Never mind. Okay. You're never, not turning our life into a reality show for YouTube. Oh, that's a little late on that one. A little late on that one. I it was talking about it. I was talking ball. about an actual like business, like a bed and breakfast or something. I it was. But then there's always going to be people in my house. <laughs> True. And that's the thing. Like, I know that when you move in, like, like before I didn't show details, like my New York apartment, all you ever saw was my reps. Any of the last, oh, wow, I've lived in three places in Vermont since I moved back. I move a lot. Um, any of the last four places I've lived in, since being on YouTube, the only thing you ever saw were my tanks because I don't really show like my living space. And I know you're completely the opposite and you want to film everything. No, and you're the one that I, you're the one, I never filmed my bathroom or my bedroom and you just filmed our bedroom. So, yeah, just saying, some... just saying. I've never ever filmed my bathroom or my bedroom on YouTube and I, that's my rule. No bedrooms and no bathrooms on YouTube. That's but just. Well, and you've already broken both of those rules. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, <laughs> oh, to be fair boy. there is a tank going in my bedroom, and so <laughs> doesn't I mean I gotta film it. I don't know. I Lucas don't know. has got a tank in his bedroom, and he doesn't show it to anybody. Has he ever shown that one on his channel? I got to film it. Well, I don't have anything that I have to hide in my bedroom, so I don't know. I have a lot of plants and I'm stuff. I'm not there yet, am I? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Woo! It's going to get... All right. So, $65 a night. That's a little cheap. I'm thinking 120 120 And you have to do water changes. No. It's like a work trade. You got to put in like three or four hours. Three or four hours work trade. No, 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 no,
No. No nobody. one's allowed to do your water changes? I mean, you can help if you want to, but no. Nope. I can't believe I you can't. trust. I can't, I can't believe you trust me to do your water changes. <laughs> I would trust you to help. I didn't say to do them. I said to help. Okay. Right. You want like help, like help, like I'm just gonna watch. That kind of help. You you can hold the pipe. <laughs> ah, that's what I thought. I'm just <laughs> gonna go make YouTube videos and those. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm working with. Ugh. Can I just say it's not? It's not just that I'm a little bit of a control freak when it comes to some things like my takes some things i'm not admitting to, <laughs> to more than that but some things i can be a control freak on like my tanks because my wild betas joseph would you let like just any random person who wanted to like like even if this were an actual thing which i know it's not which i hope it's not i really hope you're joking um like, would you let just anyone come and stick their hands in your blue tetra tank? No, I, I don't stick my hands in my blue tetra tank. Okay, well, I don't stick my hands in my tanks either. They have lids, and, like, <laughs> my wraps are enclosed for a reason. There's two levels of protection between me and my tanks. Why would I willingly let a stranger put their hands in my tanks? Or even not a stranger, someone that I don't necessarily know their, like, sanitary practices. Oh, Sharpie's got it. Tents in the backyard. There we go. We'll even do. I'll do teepees. We can do some full-on teepees. A little campfire inside. Go all primitive. We'll have like a couple, like three or four teepees in the backyard, and it'll just be like a teepee city. And hundred twenty dollars a night. <laughs> per teepee. Per teepee. That's four teepees. Do you think we can get that past the, like like the city? They're temporary structures. It's a teepee. It's a tent. It's totally legal. There's no. You don't need. You don't. It's a temporary structure. You don't need any kind of building permit for that. We just put tents up in the back. We'll set up some yurts. There we go. Like two or three yurts in the backyard. That's better than a teepee. And we'll have like a little communal kitchen out back. No. 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 It'll be like a little commune. We have like a little, like a little fish keeping like hippie commune in the backyard i have lived no i lived <laughs> on a commune for freaking two years i am not going back to that like you're yeah. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> no like i said that situation taught me i like not always having people in my domicile I no you just have a little yeah a little fish keeping hippie commune and then and it would just be like volunteer labor so everybody will well, you won't have, have to do anything all the water changes will be done you know, you can just like volunteer work program. All the shipping will be done. All the boxes will be, you know, all the ship will be, the fish will be shipped out. You just be a, it'd be a, a workshop, it'd be a, a workshop, uh, like, uh, like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, like a, like a one week, a one week intensive workshop. No! Okay, no campfires in the backyard, but the yurts. Oh my god, no. How is this my life? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no. No, commune. Yes. It's a nice a, a fish keeping, a hippie fish keeping commune. Yeah, the neighbors already wonder. Each, you put fish tanks in each of the, if you like fish tanks in each of the yurts. Yes, if we live in the largest single family house in this neighborhood and it's just uh -oh, me. Am I in trouble? My dad's blowing me up. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. What'd I do? What'd I do? Oh, cool. I'm going to talk to him about that. Oh. Let's see about that. <sighs> My dad's got a little waterproof GoPro thing and he was offering it to me, but that's interesting. I'm going to talk to him about that one. Uh, LRB yeah. Lucas Brett's LRB wait is that Lucas I'm not sure it's LRB Aquatics Natural Aquarium Fish Keeping Adventures you should know you were there and you I didn't... think there's a couple of other words I thought there was some other words to that name of that channel I'm missing I thought there were like two more words it's only it's on, that's all it is it's only LRB Aquatics Natural Aquarium Fish Keeping Adventures 
Oh, fish, fish. It's not in there. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> I gotta give him stuff for it though. Lucas, I gotta give. Him... If I was there, I, I gotta would mess smack with it. For I you. gotta. I don't know. It's not long enough though. I think he needs to put fish keeping. It should be. He needs to put. It needs to be Lucas. It needs to be LRB Aquatics Natural Fish Natural Aquarium Fish Keeping Adventures. You need to put one more. We're missing a word. It's not. It's too. It's too short. It's too short of a name. I'm telling you. Anyways. uh Let's see. It's good to see my dad up in here. So my dad just had a little bit of a thing. He was in the VA uh, as well. I know that uh, Rack's father was in the VA uh, same weekend. Uh, and my dad had a little bit of a surgery. And now he's – he thought he was Superman. And he was going to get up and go run around and go back to work like two or three days after. And anyways, not so much. So he's just – he's healing up and laying low. And he shouldn't be doing any jumping jacks or laughing or breathing too hard or anything like that just lay there and don't move and heal <laughs> is what he needs to do right now so uh i wish him the best with that i hope that he heals quickly definitely i actually when you told me <clears throat> that was a thing i thought about messaging him but then i was like wait you've never actually met him even though he's been lovely to me i've never actually met your dad so i felt weird messaging him and being like hope you're good but the sentiment is there. I hope I hope you're well, and just know that I was thinking of you. I just it, did you see what very... what did Lucas say? Lucas has an idea: underground beta battles. Uh, he figured you would really like that idea. <laughs> yes. Anyways, that's a speed. Just breathe. Oh, you just breathe right through that. That you're so good, Amber. You're so good at that. Do you, do you, you need to do that for i mean you probably do, do it, you probably do do that for me but that's what that's what you got to do with you just got to breathe so much <laughs> through my comments uh let's see what else we got to do and uh sharpie wants to do some uh some paranormal investigations in the attic uh yeah um please do and william jansen wants to know when lucas is moving I've been waiting to see here about that news. I don't know what he's got something up his sleeves there. And 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 Scott Aquatics is asking me when is Lucas moving into my place and taking over? I don't know about that either. <laughs> Anyways, what were you gonna say? <laughs> oh, I can't remember honestly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get some of this. I got, chat. No, 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 no. I'm actually not being a, a, a smart. I'm not being like that. I there's three tanks behind me, with like breeding projects in them, mm -hmm. and things are growing out that like keep popping out of the penny ore, and sh things are starting to show color. So I'm legitimately just distracted by this. Um, was it really that echoey downstairs? It's echoey all over the place. We got to figure out some microphone. Well, you just need to get, once the internet's running and you're on a laptop, it'll be better. It'd be a little bit more painful to be mobile, but the key is just figuring out, uh, I guess, a headset. Because being on the phone, no matter what, technology wise, still just go and mobile on a phone if you can have a gimbal or keep it from being shaky. It's. Uh, it's so much better, like in a house like this, you know, to run around and look at stuff without cables and cords or a big heavy laptop that you might drop in water. Uh, let's see, what was my dad saying here? Thank you for really. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, I'm back to what oh, I was saying. Oh, they're talking. To, okay, yeah, yeah. My dad's in Instagram. That's what I was saying. Is like, what a weird situation this is. We're like, kind of like with your dad, where I've I've spoken to him via chat, but I've never actually. And like you're seeing the house that you're gonna be moving into because it's it's in a sense because I mean pretty much all of the stuff here I already had. Um I like decorating, I like making places comfy. Oh 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 my leg went to sleep. Pins and needles, pins and needles, pins and needles, pins and needles. Oh, it hurts. Sorry. Sorry. Um let's see what wait, wait, wait. let's see what's going on in here real quick. Um I was trying to catch up the last little bit of chat because we're getting here to the end of the wire, really. Right here at the end. Um, oh, they're talking about... Oh, everybody's chatting with my dad, it seems like. Oh, my f pins and needles. 
Oh, it's all tingly. I had my I had my legs crossed for way I'm too long. I'm not laughing. I'm not actually laughing at your pain. I'm more laughing because it just. This is a mess of a live stream. I mean, honestly, the audio is probably Oh, yes. Crap. See, yurts, yurts and outhouses in the backyard. We got this. We got this. Not out? How? No. <laughs> no. No. We have How our own little staff of worker bees. Come on. Yeah. We'll put like four people in each yurt. We'll just maximum capacity. We'll put bunk beds in the yurts so that we can just really cram them in. You won't ever have to lift a finger again. You can just look at your fish tanks. No, I. I'm joking. <laughs> literally, I lived in a yurt with another girl. Slept oh, in a we're gonna talk about that. Oh, interesting. Not at all like that. I wasn't oh, thinking God. like that. I'm, no, I wasn't no, thinking. Now. <laughs> Anyways, streaming is not easy. That is right, Mike. Yeah. Okay, where are we at? We're almost getting here to the end of the wire. I do want to say thank you to all of my members that I have. I see a bunch of them up here in the chat today. We've got William Jansen, Ginger Graves, uh, Daryl Deemers up in here. Oh, so many people up in here today hanging out. I really appreciate it. I really my appreciate point it. Is that when I'm not living the hippie life again. <laughs> not that hard. I what? don't want no yurts, no hammocks. We'll no talk outdoors. about we'll talk about the uh, work no, exchange, no, volunteer, no, fish, fish hippie, hostel, commune <laughs> work program. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It's funny though. It's funny. It would be cute, though. I could see it now. I could see it now. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe like a Florida fish farm with a little like communal, hostile work program on the side. You know, for all the big grow out, for all the major big grow out t ponds and the greenhouses, and we'll you talk can about have a that. Cabin. You could have a cabin, cabin that you can rent out that we can stick my mother in when she comes to visit. With like 20 me. bunk beds, right? Anyways, okay. I want to say thank you to all of the That's members, the all my new idea. members, all of my, <laughs> all of my members, all of my patrons. I have so many patrons up in here today. It's super awesome to see everybody up in here. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else was there? What else is going on? There's Patreon. There's Super Chats. My cow, thank you for the Super Chat. I really do appreciate that one. Uh, thank you so much. The uh, $5 Super Chat for the fish, the Big Fish Deal Fund. I hope to see you guys over at the Big Fish Deal. That'll be fun. Does anybody have any last-minute questions for Amber? I'm um, keeping an eye out here in the chat. I don't think there's anybody going next, so I'll just give it a, a minute. We, we started late, so we can go a tiny second minute or two late. Um, no fish room fever. That's going too far for me. Or <laughs> not? That's going too far. No, we're not. Not no cults or anything. Just, just commune. Just commune. That's going too far for me. Okay. All right. Well, just <laughs> work. Work program. Work exchange. That, that, that no. That three day three day intensive fish keeping workshop. Breeding a breeding workshop, ran by Amber Menard, a big set of babies. No, that doesn't make it any better. Or I'm just <laughs> sugar <laughs> sugar coating it. Okay. Anyways, we'll figure it out. We'll talk about that. Me and it, you, Don't Amber. We'll, won't. we'll talk. We'll figure it out. We'll let you no, guys we know. Won't. We'll let you guys know how that. There's nothing to figure gonna, out. How that's gonna go, Deanna Somerville? You have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. It was really no. nice to hang out at Deanna's house yesterday. And I look forward to sharing that video with you. I'm going to have to spend the whole night editing all that and putting it together, making it happen. We'll see how that one goes. Uh, but um, I'm going to step probably a little later than I want to. So there's that. Anyways, um, I got to go ahead and get out of here. Who's going next? Uh, is anybody helping you move the fish, Amber? Uh, no. Besides me, when I get on the plane and I show up. 
You mean right now, all of my tanks that are set up? No, they are running at mom's and every other day when I can, I get a ride over there and I bust butt for like eight hours and everything. I've moved, like you've seen, the totes and I set up new tanks with established plants for the things that I didn't trust to not be supervised for more than a day. Jason wanted to know what size those CFLs are in the closet, and I know what size they are. Those are just lighting lights. Those are just those are just photography light CFLs, right? Yeah, yeah. I forget how many watts they are, or whatever. But they're they're the green the green stripe there. They're for lights. I mean, they're for whatever spectrum they are, but they're for filming. Wait, you mean the ones in the closet? Yes. Yeah, I know. They got these. Look at all my big lights. I don't know if you can see that, but... Yeah, they go on, yeah. I had some. I just, I'm throwing them away, actually, because yeah. they're garbage. I'm just going to throw them out. The soft boxes up there and the lights, and it's just it's a way to stay organized. Uh, I love you just move so fast, you kill me. Could you just grab one of those lights and slowly look at it, and we can see what spectrum of lighting it is? And how many watts it is on this side? It's gonna say what the spectrum is. What's the how many K in five thousand five hundred and it's one hundred thirty five watts. So it's really red light. It's gonna be more. I don't know. I just know it works well for shit stuff. Sorry. Yeah. Good job. Nah, I'm the best aunt ever. <laughs> this is why my sister loves me. <laughs> oh, kind of like when my niece came back from preschool and they were like, well, she keeps saying something and we're going to pretend it's vacuum. And I was like, oh dear. I'm not going to say it, just think of what rhymes with vacuum that disgruntled adults might say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, all right, so what are we doing? I'm going to get out of here. We got to go ahead and shut this thing down for sure. It's that time. I want to say thank you to everyone. I appreciate everybody's support. It's cool to have everybody here. It was nice to see this. It's nice to be able to share uh, some of the progress with you guys, share some of the stuff that's going on. I'm really proud of Amber for all of her hard work, for all of your hard work, Amber. It really is awesome. It looks really good. It looks really good and I need to be there so we're gonna figure that out you have to expedite this as I keep using that word expedite I'm gonna have to do some major something crazy is gonna have to happen I think something crazy is gonna have to happen like this entire situation <laughs> um all righty guys all right thank you guys all for hanging out i appreciate it uh let's see i know we got the whole lineup this evening don't miss uh q suzy from q aquatics she's doing her thing at eh, 7 p.m eastern standard time right and then you got aquafunk she should be going live at 8 p.m eastern standard time and then we got some of the later shows tonight as well i don't know what's going on is that is jess go live tonight late i don't um. know Are the aussies going late they usually go late on one of my filming nights, my editing nights. I, I mean, Jess has D and D tonight. I think she said she and David have a D and D game. Mm. I talked to her yesterday. I think she. That's what she said. Cool beans. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. All right. Thank you, Candy, so much for all of your work. Uh, keep an eye on the chat. Keeping the 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 bad people out and. Uh, and just throwing out all those links and all, just all the support that you give to everybody here in the community. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you, William Jansen, for, for modding there and for helping me out with the links as well. Uh, Melvin, it was good to see you in here. And, yeah, you guys don't miss Susie. Cute. She's up in here right now in the chat. Don't miss uh, Susie at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, no Aussies tonight, Mr. Blackie says. So that's oh. that. Um, and William Jansen right before we leave here he's throwing out my link to my Instagram yeah my Instagram and don't miss uh, Big City Betas her Instagram as well she's been throwing out she's been putting out some really nice uh, photographs of some of the betas as well and of the progress every once in a while on her uh, Instagram as well okay 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Say goodbye to everybody, Amber. Hi, guys. Thank you for bearing with me again. Sorry. Couldn't see me. Couldn't see the chat. Hope it, hope it was decent, and we'll have a basement update the next time we stream together. Is that nice. going to work? Yes, yeah. we'll do a basement update. Cool. All right. Okay, well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And remember, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.